Hello again. And in this video, we're going to do something that we've been asked to do by one of our viewers. And, and that was this very specific thing around Lightroom and how to create presets. So in this video, we're going to look at presets. We're going to look at how to create one. And we're going to look at how to use that preset once we've created it. Let's jump straight onto Lightroom and take a look. So here we are in Lightroom. Here's a photograph of uh, Dan Burton. This is completely unprocessed. And actually, it's not a very good picture. Dan would probably not be very happy if he saw this one. Um, but uh, let's just take a quick look at uh, how we can use this image to create profiles. Because actually, it, sorry, a preset. Because actually, it, it is quite an interesting image for that demonstration purpose. This is actually a bit dark. Um, but what we're going to do is uh, we're in the develop module of Lightroom. We've got one picture selected. And you can see we've got... We've got a number of pictures that we're taking at the same setting and actually <laughs> they're just not very good. Um, they're all very dark. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a tweak around with uh, some of the settings and see if we can improve it a little bit. And then we're going to use that to create a, um, a user profile, a user preset, sorry. So first of all, we're going to uh, have a play with this. So let's, let's have a look at this image. Let's, uh, let's maybe see if we can, uh, let's take some highlights down let's see if we can recover some of the shadows in, in down there we can a little bit um, let's maybe have a quick tweak with uh, some whites put a bit more white in there that's quite a lot let's take a bit of black out um, let's play with the clarity a little bit we're just having a really quick mess about here we would never, never really do anything like this let's just give it a bit of vibrance so we just want to be able to see uh, a demonstrable change let's, uh, let's sharpen him up a little bit in, in certain places not that much um, Asking, let's take that down to about there, just sharpen the outside, and then we'll take uh, 66 on there. So let's go to about 30 in noise reduction. Always go to about half of what you've got on um, the sharpening. Um, let's put some um, things on. Let's put a short, a small vignette on. It shouldn't really make a massive difference. I'm also going to crop this image. So this is really fast. This is a super quick edit just for, just for creating a bit of a demonstration. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, what I'm not going to do in this, in this, um, on this image is do any detail editing around his face. So I'm not going to use any of these tools here around uh, editing. I will, I will, I've done a quick crop, but I'm not going to use any of the um, spot editing. What I will do as well, just to make it really different, is I will, we'll change the color temperature. Should we go blue? Or should we go orange? Let's go blue. It doesn't really matter, we're just having a quick, a quick change. So there's our edit. We're, let's imagine we're, we're happy with that as a starting point, and we want to use that as our base, uh, our base edit for all our future stuff. Now on on this set, um, we might want to come and use some of these tools to, to to do some work around his face, or or some detail on his keyboard, or or wherever. Um, but for the base edit, we're we're happy with that. We want to use that to create a preset. So what we're going to do here is. When the preset panel, which is on the left hand side of the develop module, we're going to hit plus. We're going to create a new preset and let's call this Dan. We're going to store that in user presets. Now, the interesting thing here is we now have a view of all the settings that we can change on this image. And we can go through and we can deselect anything that we don't want to change. So if we didn't want to change the, the white balance, we could unclick that and that would not be saved in the preset. We're going to leave them all on and I'm going to create that preset. Now what's going to happen is you will see that we've got a little menu option here called user presets and I've got two, Dan and T1. Now straight away, if I hover over T1, we can see what that one looks like and then Dan is, T, is, uh, is a very different one. If we click onto the next image in the set, which is very similar, this is, if you remember, this is how we started the image. If I just literally come over here and click on Dan, we've now put the same, you'll see all these have changed. And if we go back to the first image, you'll see they are the same. So what we've done is very quickly done an edit. Now you'll see that very quickly, we've changed everything, but we haven't changed the crop. So the crop is as we made it. So the crop is not affected when the preset but very quickly, a way of editing photographs that you've got in a group. Let's say you've taken 30, 30 pictures in the same settings and you want to do the same edit to all of them. 
you edit the first one, you create a preset, and then you're gonna apply that preset to all those other images. And what it does, it's not gonna give you a final image, but it's gonna give you a, a place to start where you can then go to your other settings and, and maybe, I don't know, you might wanna just lift the exposure a little bit and see and see what that looks like. I mean, that was absolutely awful, to be fair. You would never do that, but um, you, can still, you can still go and, uh, and edit and edit in that way. I mean, I think his face to be there is, is um, it's too dark. It's beyond, it's beyond recovery. You, you may even take it back and darken it down a little bit. I don't know. It's not a picture I would use, but it's great for this, um, this demonstration. We've got our preset there. We can go and apply it to, to any image really quickly. Dink and done. Okay, so that's how to create a preset. Just a really short video and I hope that's helped. If you have enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel. That, um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.